Hello guys, welcome to this video. So uh, first step will be we will create an instance that we will use to set up the next cloud. So let me just give it a name. Next cloud server. And I will use Ubuntu and 24.04 LTS will be good. Instance type, let me change it to T2 small. This should be okay for our setup. And uh, you have to select the key pair of network and subnet. So network is good. Subnet, yeah, I have a preference. Okay. Mm, yeah, inbound security group rules. So here you may like to add some more rules. So other ports that I want to allow is um, 443. So, so we custom for three, and also I want to allow port number eighty one because our NGNX NPM will run on now port eighty one. Okay, that should be it for now, and I can click on launch instance. Okay, our instance should be ready in a moment. Uh, by the time, I would also like to reiterate that you need to set up a A record to set up the next cloud server. Uh, so I've already created a A record that points to my Elastic IP address that is 6501713. And uh, let me go to my uh, Elastic IP address and I'll assign it to the new server that we have just created so action and sorry action to see this stick ip address and here i'll see next cloud server and associate so we will use putty to connect to our server. Let's see if we are able to connect. Looks like yes. So first let's submit the repositories. Hello, APT update and then hello, APT upgrade. Yes. Okay. So our trees are updated. Uh, next, we have to install Docker and Docker container. So there is a nice KB article uh, on Docker website. I will leave a link of this uh, article in the description so you can use it to install the Docker and Docker Compose. Should I PT can update and then so basically we are adding Docker's official JPG key here. Okay, key rings. So next cloud, as you are aware, is a very very powerful tool and which its power basically comes from the fact that it can be self-hosted and uh, it's not very complicated to do that. So now let's set the repository to APT sources. Okay. And let's update again. Okay, and now to install the latest version you should use the command and let's um, 
wait till it gets installed. Okay, it's done. So let's uh, check if it's able to pull the hello word and uh, yes, so we should be good for the next step. Oh, we uh, have another optional step where you actually may like to manage Docker as a non root user. So we want to do Docker compose up without using sudo. So to do that, you can follow this KB article. I'll just put a link in the description. <laughs> Okay, so we just need to add the user to the Docker group. That's done. And then you need to log out and log back in. So I'll just exit. And reconnect. Okay, so. We are in the home directory. Let's create a new directory by the name of next cloud, where we'll put our Docker compose and uh, env file. So let me create my Docker compose file. Docker hyphen compose dot yml. And uh, I have put this Docker compose file template on my GitHub repository. So again, I'll leave a link in the description for this one. So, so basically we are using uh, one, the next cloud container, which will use a MariaDB container for the backend. And again, uh, for NPM, we are using MariaDB, uh, a second MariaDB container for uh, uh, NGNX NPM. So let me just paste it. Looks good. WQ. And then we also need to create a env file which will have the variables. So I have left a template for the env file as well. Uh, make sure you change all these passwords and usernames that are mentioned in this file. So for now, I can just copy and paste this one here. Okay, so let's let's use Docker compose up minus b, and uh, it's pulling the Docker containers and setting it up. So let's give it a moment. Okay, a uh, little more time. Okay, I think uh, our containers are started. So let's see if we are able to connect uh, to our NGNX and PM. So as we have already created the A record, I'll use the FQDN next cloud dot security focal dot com colon eighty one. Yeah, so our NGX server, NGNX server is uh, up, and uh, the default username is admin at example.com, and the default password will be change me. So let me put these details never 
and here let me change the email kumar at security bookle.com and then it will also force me to change the password default password is change me let me create the new password okay so next click on the dashboard and uh, we see there is currently no proxy host so we'll create a proxy host uh, for our next cloud server domain name i'll say next cloud dot security focal dot com and uh, forward ip so forward ip will be my instance private ip address so we'll just see where is our next cloud server let me just refresh it once yes this is our next cloud server so the private ip address is 172 so we want to forward it to our private ip address on 8080 port so uh, this is the port that we have defined in .env files and uh, i'll also go into ssl request a new ssl certificate ports ssl i agree to the let's encrypt terms of service and here you can uh, put the email address that you want to use for let's encrypt mm, certificate yeah so save and uh, it should just take a moment so in the back end it's uh, creating the certificate using set part and let's encrypt okay okay so we actually uh, missed one important point uh so for um, ngnx to be able to successfully create the certificates we also need to allow port uh, 80 in our uh, security group so we'll just go to the security group edit inbound rule and we'll also add uh, port number 80 here so it should be allowed from anywhere uh yeah so our rule is good and uh, now let's try to do it again so uh, this contribution looks okay forward port has to be 8080 ssl request any certificate for ssl uh, perfect okay let's just go to host dashboard one proxy host delete the older one and uh, we'll add a new one so next cloud dot security focal dot com and put your ip address port will be 880 go to ssl request any certificate ports ssl i agree to let's encrypt terms of service and uh, click on save okay so this step is successful uh, which means we should be able to access our next cloud server now so we just need to open nextcloud.securityfocal.com and yes we are here so we can try to log in in our next cloud account here and uh, depending on what username and password you set right so in our env file right we used nextcloud user and nextcloud password so we we'll go with this one and uh, guys one small request please like share and uh, subscribe to our channels 
so it really helps us increase our reach and bring uh, such interesting and helpful videos which can save you uh, hours of time okay click on install it will take some time in installation let's wait for a moment Oh, yeah, so for now I'll say skip. Okay. So, some interesting information that we probably want to skip. Okay. So, if we are inside the server, and here you can see the options that are there dashboard. Oh man, this is our file server. Yeah, so that is it for this video. Thanks a lot for joining us today.